and welcome back to the tiny tree house now today we are going to get super messy and get involved with some finger painting so let's go discover what mess we can make <laughs> Now for today's art and crafts guys, you will need some paints, a tray, some paper and of course your fingers. Now I need a little bit of inspiration as to what I'm going to paint so I'm going to have a little nose around the treehouse and see what I can discover. So we've got more paints this side, Ooh, over here we've got some dinosaurs. Let's have a look and see what dinosaur we want to paint today. So let's open you up. And we've come to a Diplodocus. Okay, Diplodocus, who are you? Oh, did you know that a Diplodocus lived in large herds in the swamps and forests of North America? That's really far away. Right, we're going to start with you. So, a Diplodocus has got a really long neck and a really long tail. So I'm going to take my paint and I think you're going to be blue today. So I'm going to take the blue, I'm going to open it up like this and I'm going to squelch it into my tray. Squelch, squelch quicker. Oh, there we go. Fabulous. Squelch, 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 squelch. Fab, okay. All we have to do now, guys, is take our hands and we splodge it in the paint. It feels super slimy. Love that. Splodge, splodge, splodge. Ta-da! I look like a smurf. So, all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take my hand like this and I'm going to splodge it into the centre of my paper. Yeah! Like that. And I'm going to peel it away super careful. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay. So, here we've got our dinosaur's legs. One, two, three, four. And here we have the tail. Now, I'm going to make the tail a little bit longer. So, I'm going to use my thumb. I'm going to make the tail a little bit longer because, like I said, he's got a super long tail. And he's also got a super long neck. So I'm going to take my other fingers and I'm going to create a neck all the way up here. Bloop, 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 bloop. And then I'm going to take my thumb. Ta -da, and I'm going to do its head like that. Right there. Fabulous. Okay. I'm just going to smudge this in a little bit because it currently looks like a very holy dinosaur. And let me just check. Nope, there's no holes in the middle of him. So we're just going to mix that in. I'm going to really blob them hooves. Are they hooves? What have you got? Claws. They've got claws. And we're just going to blob that there. And here it was a very skinny neck, Daisy. Let's thicken you up a little bit. Blop, 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 like that. Okay, and here we have created our very own, whoa, Diplodocus. Ta-da! We're going to call you Derek. Hey, Derek. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm finished yet, guys. I think I want to do another one. So let's see what else we can find in here. Let's go for, ooh, a pterodactyl. Now, a pterodactyl's got wings, so we are going to need a fresh sheet of paper because I don't think she's going to fit alongside Derek, do you? So I'm going to rip you off like this. This would be a lot easier if my hand wasn't already covered in paint. Ah, fabulous. Now, Derek, you can live over there and you can dry over there. That's it. Fabulous, marvellous. Okay, now what colour do I want to use for our pterodactyl? Hmm, I know! Let's go with red. So I'm going to splodge you in here, like this. Splodge quicker. Splodge! Marvellous. And then we're going to mix you up as well. Mix you in. Mix it all the way in like this. Now, to do our pterodactyl, we are going to need both of our hands, okay? And all we're going to do is splodge them on the paper, one on top of the other. So, excuse me, thank you. We're going to splodge it on. Oh no! I've got two different colours. Do you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to mix them. So let's mix our colours up. And if we mix red and blue, we should get a purple colour. Ugh, lovely. Okay, let's see what happens. We're going to mix them all up, okay? We're going to mix it all the way up like this. And we've got like a browny, purpley, pterodactyl kind of colour. Okay, so, excuse me, thank you. We are going to make a big splodge on our paper like this. 
Watch your hair, Daisy. Three, two, one, splodge! Splodge, splodge, splodge. Now it's got wings, so we want them to be really, really big wings. I'm gonna give it a little wiggle. De -de 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 -de. Like this, let's see. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Now let me have a little look at your face. So we're gonna make a sec a little bit longer. De -de. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a beak over here. Now when this is dry, guys, if you want to, you might have some googly eyes lying around. You can stick some googly eyes on its eyeballs or you can give it really, really sharp teeth, okay? But you might want to wait till it's dry so that it doesn't smudge. <gasps> legs! A pterodactyl's got legs! So I'm gonna come back in. We're gonna give you some blue legs. And you can use all different parts of your hands and get really, really creative. So I'm gonna give you some legs all the way down here like this. Oh yes, love that for you. Let's give you a blue eye. We do want you to dry, but, but we're going to use the clock here, Daisy. Plop. There you go. I mean, we look, <laughs> we look like a chicken, but we're all part of the same family. And here we have a pterodactyl. Ta-da! Now what should we call you? Guys, feel free to send in your suggestions. You could name our pterodactyl. So I'm going to leave that one unanswered, actually. So Derek, meet pterodactyl. Pterodactyl, meet Derek. Guys, I'm a little bit stuck. I think I need to go and wash my hands. So whilst I'll do that, I'm gonna say goodbye to all of you. I've been Daisy, back in the treehouse. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you all next time.